Hey, third graders. I think you remember when we read Mercy Watson. So today, I'm going to read you the first part of the third book, which is Mercy Watson Fights Crime by Kate DiCamillo. Mr. Watson and Mr. Wa Mrs. Watson have a pig named Mercy. Each night they sing the pig to sleep, then they go to bed. Good night, my dear, says Mr. Watson. Good night, my darling, says Mrs. Watson. Oink, says Mercy. Most nights, Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson and Mercy sleep soundly in their beds, but there was one night when they did not. Chapter 2 Leroy Ninker was a small man. He was a small man with a big dream. Leroy Ninker wanted to be a cowboy, but in the meantime, he was a thief. He was a thief in the kitchen at 54 Dekawu Drive. Leroy Ninker was robbing the Watsons. yippee yo sang Leroy. Everything must go. He grabbed a hold of the toaster. He pulled it across the counter toward him. Screech, went the toaster. Shh, said Leroy. He tossed the toaster into his bag. Clang, went the toaster. Shh, said Leroy again. Chapter three. Screech, Mercy woke up. Screech, was the sound the toaster made when it was being pulled across the kitchen counter. Mercy Watson loved toast. She particularly loved toast with a great deal of butter on it. I think we remember that. Mercy got out of bed. She pricked up her ears. She listened. Mercy heard Mrs. Watson snoring. She heard Mrs. Mr. Watson snoring. Who was downstairs making toast? Mercy went to the top of the stairs. She looked out into the darkness. Clang went the toaster. Clang was the sound the toaster made when Mrs. Watson turned it upside down to clean out the crumbs. Somebody was making toast. Mercy went down in the dark, dark stairs. She headed for the kitchen. Chapter 4. Leroy Ninker grabbed the blender. He grabbed the clock. He grabbed the cookie jar. yippee i -o, he sang as he worked. In you go. He grabbed the juicer. He grabbed the teapot. He grabbed the waffle iron. And then Leroy Ninker heard a noise. He turned around. yippee i sang Leroy. Uh-oh. wonder what's going to happen. Chapter 5. Mercy looked around. She did not see the toaster. She did not see the bread. She did not see the butter. Instead, Mercy saw a little man wearing a big hat. He was not making toast. Mercy was very disappointed. She was also very tired. She yawned. Good pig, said the man. He nodded. Mercy lay down. She yawned again. Nice pig, said the little man. Mercy closed her eyes. yippee i -o! The man sang softly, off to sleep you go. Chapter 6. That there, whispered Leroy, is a big pig. He reached into his shirt pocket. He pulled out a butter barrel candy. And he unwrapped the candy and put it in his mouth. Hmm, Leroy thought. It might be a good idea for this cowboy to hit the trail. He picked up his bag. He stopped. Ah, shucks, said Leroy. The pig was blocking his way. There's no room to go around the pig, said Leroy. There's no room to go under the pig. Guess I got to go over the pig. Leroy stepped forward. He flung one leg over the sleeping pig. The pig moved. Leroy Ninker froze. Chapter 7. Mercy woke up. Oink, she said. Easy now, said a voice. Mercy looked out the corner of her eye. The little man was on her back. Mercy stood up. Steady girl, said the little man. Mercy shook herself. The little man slid forward. Whoa there, he said. Mercy smelled something. But what was it? Butter! Mercy looked around the kitchen. No bread, no toaster, but she definitely smelled butter. Maybe something next door was making sugar cookies. Oink, said Mercy. She galloped out the door. She galloped towards the Lincoln sisters' house. yippee i -o, shouted Leroy Ninker. Away we go! It's the last chapter that we'll read today. Chapter 8. Upstairs at 54 Dekawu Drive, Mrs. Watson woke up. Mr. Watson, she said. Uh-huh, said Mrs. Watson. Did you hear a noise, said Mrs. Watson. What sort of noise, dear? A yippee i -o sort of noise, said Mrs. Watson. No, I didn't hear a yippee i -o sort of noise, said Mr. Watson. 
You were dreaming, my dear. Was I? said Mrs. Watson. You were, said Mr. Watson. Go back to sleep. Mrs. Watson got out of bed. I think I will go check on Mercy, she said, and then I will go back to sleep. Excellent, mumbled, mumbled Mr. Watson. A top-notch plan, my dear. Mr. Watson started to snore. <laughs>